Hey guys, welcome back to NC State Dendrology. Today we are going to be talking about sourwood, or lily of the valley tree. Um, its scientific name is Oxydendrum arboreum, so sourwood Oxydendrum arboreum. Um, this is a tree in the Ericaceae family. The Ericaceae family is a large family, um, commonly referred to as the Heath family. Um, we'll be learning a couple of other plants this semester um, that are also in this family, um, such as blueberry and azalea. So, if you're looking to identify sourwood out in the woods, you're typically going to be able to scan across the horizon and pick out trees that are growing kind of at a 45 degree angle. And, and you're going to be wondering, huh, why are they growing at a 45 degree angle? Sourwood is a mid-story tree. Uh, mid-story trees um, tend to have to compete for light with the trees growing above them. Um, sourwood has adapted to this low light condition by growing horizontally through the canopy. Um, by growing this way, they can capture more sunspots in the canopy um, and grow their leaves. Um, so basically, they're taking up the space of multiple trees, canopies, in the mid-story. Um, they don't always grow at a 45 degree angle. Under certain conditions, if they have good sunlight, they'll grow straight up and be very happy that way. Um, but if you're just looking to impress your friends out in the woods and be like, ah, I'll find you a sourwood, just scan the horizon for those 45 degree angle trees. Um, how do you tell a sourwood from a tree that's just falling over? You're going to walk up and look at the bark. So the bark of sourwood is this deeply furrowed, um, ridged bark. It's typically a red-brown color. Um, a lot of people liken it to um, alligator skin. Um, if that helps you to remember it, you can call it that. Um, but it's going to be this very typical blocky ridged bark um, of that red-brown color. Um, you can also double check yourself by looking at the leaves. Um, the leaves will typically be way up there if this is a mature tree like this one, but sometimes there will be sprouts growing from the base of the tree, and you can check those as long as they are from the actual tree. You can look at the leaves, and the leaves are this oblong shape um, with that pinnate venation. Um, so you have that oblong shape with that acute tip. Acute just means pointed. It's a pointed botany term. Um, and then you can look at the margin. The margin is the edge of the leaf. Um, and looking at the margin, you can see that, let me see if I can get close enough. Um, it has this finely sawtooth margin um, that is like tiny teeth. Um, so we would call that um, a toothed margin. Um, so that minutely toothed margin will help you differentiate this leaf from other leaves of a similar shape that have a smooth margin. Um, so, sourwood leaf, if you're feeling adventurous and you're confident that you've identified it as a sourwood leaf, you can uh, snack on it a little bit. I mean, chew on it, it releases some of the compounds in the leaf and it tastes kind of like, some people call it like green apple, green apple taste. You're not going to want to swallow it. Many Boy Scouts have discovered that if you eat many of these leaves and swallow them, you're likely to um, get diarrhea, but if you just want to like get that nice sour green apple taste and impress your friends by eating leaves out in the woods, sourwood is one of those sort of edible plants that you can do that with. Um, besides the leaves and the bark, um, another cool thing about this plant is it's an important wildlife plant. So in the spring or midsummer when it flowers, um, you're going to have these bright white of flowers. Um, and the flowers are cup-like. Many of the flowers in the um, Ericaceae family are these cup-like flowers. And it's a bee tree, so bees really like to get um, their pollen and for their honey from the flowers of the sourwood tree, so we call it a bee tree. Um, also, on mature trees like this, they can have cavities. And so lots of animals will use this tree um, with its cavity. Um, you'll see squirrels running up and down here, maybe small possums and raccoons depending on how large the tree is. Um, overall, sourwood, a very cool tree. Definitely recommend going out, finding it in the woods, um, and getting used to looking for this bark so you can identify it whenever you come across it.